Hello and welcome to another system design video and in this video we'll be covering indexes. When working with databases as soon as you start seeing performance issues someone will definitely say the word indexes. This is because if done correctly creating an index on one or more columns of a table makes it much faster to search through the table and find row or rows queried for. So how do indexes work? For this let's look at an example of an online people's directory. Now this directory may have a table full of people and let's say the table has four columns, ID which is the primary key or a unique identifier, an email address, first name and last name. Now if we have a million records in the database and we want to query for a particular record by first name, the whole table would be scanned, so all million records before giving back a result of records. This is because the first name field will be unordered and the best you can do with an unordered list of records is a linear search. If the first names were ordered however, we could use a binary search to find the first name field. This would allow us to search in logarithmic time because we no longer need to search every single record. So on average we would only need to access log n, so log 1 million, which is approximately 20 records. 1 million versus 20 is a very big performance improvement. Now obviously I've generalized a lot of the things in this example but it illustrates the concept of an index. An index is just another table which has a pointer to your records and it's ordered by one or more fields you want the index on. A common theme in system design is if there's a positive there's probably a negative that you need to take into consideration too. So although indexes can improve database reads they can impact writes negatively. Why does a write performance decrease? So without an index, when you add to a database, it just finds the next space available and inserts your new record and you're done. But with an index, when you add, update or delete a record, it now has to sh make sure the index is in the correct order and the new updated record is in the right place. For this reason, adding unnecessary indexes on tables should be avoided and indexes that are no longer used should be removed. And that's all for the quick and short video on indexes. As always, if the video helped, help me help you by liking, commenting and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next system design video.